Hey guys, what's up? I'm Caitlin from Leaf Me Alone Plants and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know when taking care of your variegated peace lily, aka drama queen. Now if you have ever owned a traditional peace lily, then you will probably know that they are one of the most traumatic plants in the entire world. Basically, you can go like, oh, I don't know, 12 hours without watering them and they will completely droop over, look like they are completely dead, only to revive themselves a couple hours later after you give them a nice little drink. Now, um, I think these plants, you know, are pretty common in the sense that um, even non-plant people, if you say peace lily, they'll typically know what you're talking about, but I don't know that I would recommend this for a first time plant owner. I think it might be really easy to get discouraged or just feel like you're not a good plant parent if you constantly think that you're killing your plant. So if you are in that boat or if you're more of a seasoned uh, peace lily owner, then keep watching and hopefully you will get some tips that will help you take care of these domino peace lilies. in the beginning of this video, these plants are dramatic for their water. You will want to keep their soil pretty moist, otherwise, trust me, this guy's going to start throwing a temper tantrum in no time flat. Now, of course, you know, you can't just keep the soil completely soggy. If you do that, you will start to notice that these bottom leaves might turn yellow, um, or of course, worst case scenario, you could have root rot. But don't be afraid to go in with water on this guy, because let me tell you, he's thirsty. That kind of goes into humidity. So, um, you know, I've read that these plants are high humidity loving plants, and you may or may not be able to see it, but on some of the leaves that I have here, there are, you know, some crusty edges. Um, but compared to other plants that I, you know, have owned and have in my house, I really don't think that this guy has that crazy of humidity needs, you know. It's not something like a prayer plant, um, a maranta, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, that's all that's coming to mind. But, uh, it's not gonna be one of those plants where, you know, if it's not getting humidity, the whole leaf is gonna crisp up, but, um, you probably will get these little brown tips like I have on my plants, so, you know, it is what it is. As for light, these guys are going to be, um, pretty tolerant of a lower lighting condition. Now, like any variegated type of plant, of course, because it does have less chlorophyll in its leaves, you can bump up that light a little bit. Um, but as you can probably notice by looking at this plant, um, this domino version of the peace lily doesn't have crazy variegation where like the whole leaf is white. Um, I do have some where, you know, it's more of like a white section or a white stripe on there. But really in terms of a variegated plant, this plant does have a ton of chlorophyll in the leaves. So um, while you might want to bump it up a little bit from a traditional peace lily, you don't have to give it anything crazy. Now, unfortunately, these plants are considered toxic to both humans and animals. But on the flip side of that, they are rated by NASA to be one of the best plants for purifying the air. Um, now, I have mixed feelings on this. I have, you know, read things that say that plants are great for purifying the air, and then I've read other things that say, like, unless you just have a completely closed system and so many plants, which I do, um, that it really doesn't do much. So, I don't know. I like to believe it. I like to believe that the plants are doing something for me nice because, you know, I like to do nice things for them. But um, if you are of that camp, then this is a great option for air purification in your house. As for propagation, um, these guys, if you go into the root system and kind of dig them up, you will see that they have those rhizomes in there, kind of similar to like a ZZ plant or um, a caladium, uh, which is interesting because, you know, typically in a plant where you have rhizomes, that's um, an area where they can store water, which clearly these guys are not doing. Um, but because of that, because they have those rhizomes, um, your best option for propagation typically is going to be division. So you will just kind of uh, get the dirt off the roots and you can just divide one of those rhizome sections out of there and have a new plant or, you know, take as many of those sections as you want, divide it completely, um, up to you. But division is probably going to be your best propagation method for these guys. Now, of course, like the name says, um, peace lily, these guys do get those beautiful white lily flowers like a standard peace lily will. Typically those will come at the end of spring or the beginning of summer. Uh, it is kind of midsummer right now, so I guess I just missed out on it for this guy. But um, 
you know, I think what's kind of common is like around Easter time, you'll start to see peace lilies for sale. And um, I think like someone like my mom, who isn't necessarily a plant lover, would probably, you know, once that flower died, just throw the plant out. But um, you can keep these guys all year round. They're beautiful. The foliage is beautiful. And, you know, aside from the fact that it's a uh, drama queen, I do really like having this plant around. Um, it's definitely grown on me since I've had it. And uh, while I probably wouldn't recommend it for a complete, complete beginner, I do think overall once you get the hang of it, the carrot is pretty easy and um, it's not so bad of a plant to have. So if you had questions about this plant that I did not address in this video, of course, as always, drop them in the comments down below and I will do my best to get back to them and give you an accurate answer. Um, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And of course, subscribe, we will be doing giveaways soon. And of course, there are always more videos coming out. So hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for checking out this video and enjoy your best plant life.